what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel if you guys haven't seen the last video the last video we got the hf crx all primered up yes we are that much closer to getting this car in the paint what i find super weird is that there's a bunch of ants on here or in here i don't know what's going on but uh there's freaking ants like everywhere kind of weird kind of weird So I just got back home with my mom. Uh, she just took off for a second round of recycling. And uh, if you guys know, you guys know. She also took me to the paint shop because yesterday when I went to go buy all the materials for painting this car, that car, and this car, I actually left the mixed paint at the shop because of um, having to wait two hours or so. I just kind of waited until the next day. So we just got back with the paint for the red CRX. We have Rutland Red right here this is for the bumper on the all-wheel drive car and we have polar white for this car as well as the fender and bumper that we still need to paint over there but in today's video i wanted to uh, get down with sanding the carbon fiber hood this sucker right here i also mentioned in the last video that this section of the hood where you can see more of the weave is actually the weave like you can feel the carbon fiber um, texture. So I'm not entirely sure what happened with the gel coat there, but I wanna sand this whole entire thing down because we are doing base coat and clear coat on the car itself. So when I get to the clear, I wanna clear the hood while I'm doing whatever body panel that I am doing. So I wanna sand all this down nice and flat, get a lot of these scratches off and lay a bunch of clear on here when we get to it. Big shout out to Higgins as well. Um, for the work that I've been putting on Higgins Hatch, he hooked it up with a JDM front. This is the, the Japanese front end carbon fiber SIR hood. So it's got the hump in the middle. It's for the SIR headlight and uh, it's pretty beat up from the sun. And I might, I just might, just might sand this down as well too today. So. Uh, most importantly though, I want to get that all sanded down first and we're going to try to touch up the tail lights as well and clean pretty much all of the dirt that's on here. So with a lot of daylight still out, because it is early in the morning, let's get to work. I think I'm going to start with 500 on the hood with my little sanding block. See how well this cuts the carbon clear or gel coat and if we have to we'll step down or up I got the hood sanded down with 500 all around and it is looking really good. Now I'm gonna have to give this a quick little scuff or a quick little cleanup before we paint it when we get to it. But I just sprayed some oven cleaner like 15 minutes ago on these areas that were kind of gunked up with dirt and I just pressure washed it with <laughs> garden hose. I just washed it all down and it's looking a little bit more cleaner. I'm not entirely sure where all of this um, overspray came from because i didn't do that and uh obviously his car was repainted before so probably from previous owner or something so i was uh <laughs> i was still looking for the damn keys and i can't find the damn keys but i came in here real quick to kind of scuffle around to see if i might have left it in here or something it's literally one oem key and it doesn't have like a keychain or anything attached to it but i lifted up this carpet and there's water and moisture all over the floor mat and it is wet here on the floor now 
we started getting a lot of moisture inside the window you can see it right there and all around pretty much like the windshield this we've always had it in the back you can see it right here on the top always wet and uh it's really pissing me off so I thought I had a spare trunk, which I actually did have a spare trunk, but I actually gave it away uh, recently. And uh, a lot of you guys were saying that the back window needs to come off and get re-glued on. And I was just gonna switch trunk because the other trunk was already an 8089 without the wiper and it was already painted before. So all it needed was a scuff, but because I gave it away, I don't have another one to attach on here. And since I am messing with water right now, I'm trying to figure out where the water is coming from that's getting to the carpet. And I'm gonna try to figure out where the water is going into the car from the rear. So. I got the water hose out. I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a little rinse down and also clean out all of the uh, leaves and stuff that are kind of just caked up inside here. Oh yeah, right there. This is all moisture up too. I did not see that. But where is that coming from? I am not entirely sure. But we definitely have water come in from there. And the rust on the shock is the same on the other side, but we don't see any drips here. So, hmm. Do I have to remove the rear panels to take out the quarter window panels to see where the water's coming from. Oh shoot, you guys are wet. <laughs> I'm probably gonna pull these panels out, the quarter glass window panels, to visually see where it's actually dripping from, because that is a good amount. Let's get to it. I just saw something else. You have got to be kidding me. Where's the goldfish? what pissed me off even more guys not only we have this pond but this pond is back and that pond is back what incarnation is going on i got the back half of the interior removed pretty much all of the trimming on the quarters panel rear panels um compartment and all that so what i'm about to do right now is in the jam of the trunk was a ton of leaves and mud and all kinds of things so i kind of stuck the water hose in it like i did earlier and blasted it all out because i feel like the water's traveling on top of the leaves and then going in between the seal and going inside the car but we won't know until we do this little water test and i'm just gonna stick you guys right here on the tripod real quick close the doors and uh drench the top of the car with the hose to see if we are getting any leaks. So I'm gonna set you guys up right here. Not really seeing water come out from anywhere other than right here. So, not entirely sure where the water is coming from, but you can see it's clearly dripping. So I just showered the car again, and what's interesting to me is I'm seeing water right here in between um, the seal that is separated from the glass, and maybe the glass seal, the 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 windshield. Uh, glue is is rising lifting and that explains this water right but this one is still dripping and it's not actually coming from here i'm watching the water seep through here which you guys can tell is rusted right because water seems to be coming from here and that means it is coming from underneath all of this metal somewhere in this general area now i went and i looked up here and uh, this seam sealer right here is split open, going all the way down there. 
and I'm thinking it is going in between that in between the metal because these are all glue and spot weld together and that's what's going through the frame that's then leaking all the way out over there so I'm gonna get my flashlight out see if I can see what's going on in here determine where the leak is coming from the good thing is I don't really see leaks anywhere else over there and uh, I still got to figure out where all of this water is coming from and it's only the passenger side that's getting wet right once I figured this all out I'm gonna have to run water over here to see if it's drizzling down uh, through the firewall which is very common normally whatever seals right there with the heater core is at heater box uh, goes through here all this gets wet and then piles back here because the car is slanted on my driveway um, it makes sense because all of this is super wet as well and it is kind of piled up over here with the water so i feel more comfortable to move forward after I figure out all this water stuff i'm hoping it doesn't take long because i want to get down with the pink stuff already but this this is a big issue so i had the flashlight in the car and i poured water directly right here with a cup of water and it wasn't seeping through the frame where i was looking at in the hole but i'm looking at this right here there's no seam sealer right here and obviously you can see there's no um paint on it as well that looks like a separated piece from its two joining spot and uh quickly just running the water through here you can see it leaking right so somewhere in this corner water is getting through and uh getting into the car i think i think what i'm gonna have to do here is uh entirely dry up this area and put some seam sealer in this whole corner section so i completely dried up this corner i used a brake cleaner to help evaporate the water a little quicker but uh the, the seams completely exposed i can run my fingers through it so i checked my bin earlier and i have i have this black automotive uh rtv silicone sealant i can use this on joaquin's roof when we uh swap the roof on his eg i'm gonna use that to seal up the cracks now i uh i am gonna go all the way up here just in case because um, it is cracked you can see once again i cleaned the other side as well too i'm gonna do the same that one's gonna be a little easier because we don't have the cable in the way but really not a big deal so all i'm gonna do is get some rtv actually instead of just talking about it let's just freaking do it i'm just gonna go ahead and just dab this on my hand and uh dab it onto the crack right there we're now applying a bunch where you know it's gonna lift up or whatever simple as that so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process somewhere in here and the other side so i got this and this corner sealed up passenger side same thing all sealed up this corner all sealed up man it's crazy how today shifted so quickly um just realizing now that there's freaking green on this hood definitely have to sand that out before i clear this hood i still want to sand down the tail lights i'm probably going to do that i got to see what sandpaper i have i kind of want to see where the water is leaking into the cabin from the front if it is leaking from the front i'm almost certain it's leaking from the front I gotta pull this carpet out i really don't want to but it is so soaked look at this i guess you guys can say things escalated pretty quickly here got the carpet out and i got the uh floorboard all dried up and i am going to close this freaking door close this freaking door 
mind you guys i don't have a cowl up in the front so if it was to leak it's going to leak all i'm going to do is sit here with my water hose and hose this entire front down for a minute or so all right so that was a cool minute it looks like we are dry on the driver's side and on the passenger side we are pretty freaking dry now i am so confused on how we got a freaking pond sitting here and uh <laughs> we, 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 it doesn't seem like we're leaking in the front well, I had to pull the carpet out anyways to get that all nice and dried up because it was super soaked and it wasn't going to dry quickly with it being in the car in the pond. So I guess right now I'm just going to let this dry throughout the night so I can dab some paint on it before we close up. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clean up all of my tools, everything, all of the freaking interior that's no longer in the damn CRX. We're going to have to reinstall all of that. I think I'm just going to do all that after paint, but um, clean all my stuff real quick. Sand down the tail lights and polish it up. I don't have too much sandpaper, but I'm gonna use 1200 right here. And then I'm just gonna step it up to 2000 grit, which I have right there on the DA. And then I have 3000, 3000 grit somewhere in this pile. So I'm gonna sand it in three sequence. And uh, after I finish sanding it, I am gonna scrub the uh, tail lamps down because it is pretty grimy and uh, again i'm going to try to polish it out tonight before we close out this video because that was what i wanted to do from the beginning sand the hood sand the tail lights Guys, we got the tail lights polished out and I did the two stage with the 3M uh, compound stage one and stage three. We sanded it down with 1200, 2000 grit and then 3000 grit all wet sand and uh, it is looking a ton better than it did. I had all the dirt and stuff that was on here. The plastic was kind of faded. When I did the uh, stage three, I kind of went over the black as well and it is looking kind of kind of fresher. So these are going to go back onto the car when I reassemble the whole car. I already got them polished out. I'd rather not spray with them on the car because of always spray and stuff like that. So I already kind of painted the seam sealer in the back with some white paint. It was already kind of dry to the touch. So I just threw some dupe color. Uh, I believe this is frost white uh, just to kind of blend it in a little bit. You can't really tell, right? I also did the other side. I am going to acetone the black because I didn't have any more tape to tape this up. So I just kind of sprayed it in there and got, got some white all over the uh, the moldings and grommets and stuff. So um, the reason why I painted it now is just so I can put the molding back on and then close the trunk tight. The paint's already dry. Dupe color or any base coat always dries really quickly. And I did a good like four layers on each side. But... Hopefully, when I, when I do the water test again, we're not leaking in this corner anymore. And if it does, then we're back to square one. I came out here today to do two things, which is paint the hood, sand the taillights down, and then 
things escalate a little quickly the whole interior is out of the car again but it's a good thing that i did do that because now i can really try to figure out where the water leak is coming from i found one of it i still can't figure out if there's another spot or not before i put the interior back together which probably is going to go back in when the car is all said and done with the paint but we are getting there guys i think tomorrow i'm not entirely sure yet i think tomorrow i want to get down with sanding the bumpers down painting the trims and then getting both the bumper and the two fenders base coat and then the hood with the clear coat process so i might do two four five pieces tomorrow um i guess you guys gonna have to stick around and see but that is gonna wrap it up for today's video if you guys enjoyed the progress update on the hf crx be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you guys want to stick around to see the paint job again be sure to hit the subscribe button but with that being said always remember progress is better than no progress thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace